Sixth play of this drive. Looking for room. Breaks the tackle. Off and running. He's at the 20. The 10. 5. Touchdown, Jaguar. This is a good example of some hard hitting. He runs into a guy almost as soon as he gets the ball. But he bounces off, turns on the speed, and almost goes the distance. A heck of a run. Boyd comes in for the extra point. And it's up. And the extra point is good. The Jaguars regain the momentum of that score, John. You can feel the momentum shifting. Just what they were looking for, John. Good play calling there. Key drive. Touchdown. I think the whole team's happy after that one. They're probably telling their defense to get them the ball back so they can go score again. Nice kick. Plenty of distance. From the seven-yard line. The last drive stalled, and they settled for a field goal. Now let's see what happens. Only one man in the backfield. Gene. Gene was dragged down before he could get to the line of scrimmage. They have great size and quickness up front. That allows them to hold up against the run while also giving them the speed to rush the passer when they drop back the pass. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 19. Hands off to the tailback. They wanted to pound it through the middle, but they got pounded for a loss. I'll tell you, that was a perfect time for these guys to call a blitz. They got in there, filled the gap, and brought down the back for a loss. Gene. They'll go with a play fake. Rowan. The 40. Stokely has just passed the 100-yard mark. First and ten. Ball on their own 49. Set. Get out of here. Is it left? <laughs> Loss of around two. The quarterback lines up with two options behind him. Get set. Pressure puts everything behind this one. And it's intercepted. The defender was all over that one. He just jumped right up there and picked that ball off. Right. The offense gets ready to go following the interception. So let's take a look at how this back compares to the opposition. Second and long coming up here. Ball on their own 28. Brunel starts out of the shotgun. Looking for a receiver. Rowing. He hits his receiver. Right on the mark there to move the chain. And the thing is, the secondary looked a little on their heels on that one. They just couldn't converge on the ball in time, and now they get a whole new set of down. Gets to the lane here. Tackle at the 45. Might have gotten back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. Dropping back. Pressure coming. Surveying the field. Gets the pass off. It's caught. Great play there by Smith. You're talking about making it look easy out there. He caught that, and he made it look very easy. The teams are set for the fourth quarter of play. It's first and ten. Ball on the 23-yard line. Brunel gets set, tosses it right. Bratsky with the stop at the 22-yard line. They couldn't find an opening and was brought down very quickly. Yeah, he was. This line has to do a better job of holding up at the point of attack. He has a fast first step. And he can explode through the hole. But he needs a line to create that little crease or cutback lane to break free. Looking downfield with the pass. Turn. He has it. They've got something going here. Yeah, it's been one first down after another. 
They're putting together a nice looking drive here. So it's first and goal. Ball on the five yard line. Hands it off. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Now this is exactly how to get the ball in the end zone. Just get in behind the center and guard and keep pushing and pushing until they're putting up six points on the board. Boy comes in to attempt the point after. And it's on its way. The extra point attempt is good. That touchdown puts them ahead, but this game is still very much in the balance. What a game it's been. That's for sure. You knew that these guys were fired up coming into this one. Both of these teams knew that this was a game that they needed, and it looks like the winner might be determined by the team that has the ball last. From the 12-yard line. Give the defense a lot of credit on that last possession as they were able to force the interception. Let's see what happens this time. They give it to the halfback, setting up play action. Gets the pass off. Big opening across midfield. A great pass and a great run after the catch. Well, you talk about a defense breaking down. Here they give him enough time to get the long pass off. Then they let him catch it, and they let him run for a long game. Only one man in the backfield. Looking for room. Pickup of about a yard in the run. Quarterback back in the shotgun. Looking for an option. The pass ball's incomplete. He just overthrew that one. It almost looked like he might have been trying to throw it to someone else. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. He hands it off. Play action. With the throw, this pass is incomplete. The quarterback thought he had that one. You got to deliver the ball out there quickly, but it has to be catchable. You got to use some touch. Gee, they'll go with the play fake. Gets rid of it. Into the open. The 10. Five. Touchdown, Colts. Peyton now adds another touchdown pass, his third of the game. Vanderjack comes in for the extra point. And it's up. And the extra point is good. Hardly a defensive struggle today. No, either the defense on both teams stayed in bed too long today, or everyone on offense ate their breakfast. Here's the kickoff team. Decent kick, we should have a return. From the five yard line. see if they can move the ball as well through the air this time as they did after scoring a touchdown on their last possession. The Jaguars line up in the shotgun. Brunel sets up to carry it. Can't bring it down. Gain of two. Second and eight. Ball on their own 35. Indianapolis looks like they're playing the pass as they're lined up in the dime. Heaving it over the middle. He's there for the count. Big time play by Hayes. The thing is, he got some separation there, and he was able to get him a big chunk of yard. Clean the pain. Get the ball, man. The Jaguars line up in the shotgun. Again, he'll get the call. Maybe a yard on the draw. Indianapolis comes out in a dime package. 
Come on, tee up. Brunel gets set. Crowd, crowd. Eagle left. Get at it. Take him out. Hut. They give it to the halfback. Taylor couldn't find any room on that one. They really hustle on the defensive side of the ball. They're very good at clogging up the line, limiting the number of holes and cutback lanes that the back has to choose from. They'll be faced with a long third down play here. Ball on the 36-yard line. Indianapolis with six defensive backs. Looking for an option, he finds his man. They went back to the screen. The screen pass requires that you have some quick linemen who can move wide of the tackle and set up blocks for the guy coming out of the backfield. Indianapolis looks like they're playing the pass as they're lined up in the dime. With six defensive backs. He's looking. Rose it. I'll tell you, this has to be frustrating. Watch here, because it's a great situation for the defense. They think they've got him, and they're about to get the ball back. Then all of a sudden, he drops back the pass, and boom, they're moving the chains, and they're getting a whole new set of downs. This is the seventh play of this drive. Under pressure, guns it to the end zone. Touchdown, Jacksonville. That touchdown catch deserves another look. I tell you, this guy just lays it out there as far as he can, and he makes a great catch for the score. Now that was a heck of a play. comes in to attempt the point after. The kick is up. The extra point attempt is good. Their defense having a rough day. On both sides. The kickoff team lines up. Good distance. From the five. The passing game is really working for them. We saw that on their last possession as they worked their way down the field for a touchdown. And let's see if they can do it again here. So they have first and ten here. Ball on their own 26. The Jaguars come out in a nickel pack. Closing in. Trying something to the left. This one falls incomplete. The defense doing everything they can to keep this last drive out of the end zone. Jacksonville comes out in their nickel packet. Here comes the blitz. Throws it. He's there for the count. Harrison made a spectacular play on the long pass. And the quarterback put a little air under that one. He knew his guy had the speed to get to it, and he laid it out there perfectly. They give it to the halfback. Loses one tackle. Can't pull him down. And he's tackled at the 20. Kept it on the ground. Picks up about seven. Jacksonville comes out in their nickel package. Again with the carry. James with a nice run. And picks up the first down. And it was well executed. They hit their blocks in the back found in the right hole to get down the field and pick up a first down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 11-yard line. Fire out. Jacksonville comes out in their nickel pack. It's the pass off. It's a fumble. The Colts. Big sigh of relief from the offense after the recovery. That was a foot race to the fumble. Looks like the extra wind sprints of practice are paying off. Jacksonville comes out in their nickel packet. Lobs one into the end 
zone. Touchdown, Colts. Big time catch in the end zone, John. Boy, how did he break free? I think they just lost track of him running around back there. I bet you they keep a better eye on him the next time they get down here near the goal line. The kicker lines up for the point after. And it's up. And he kicks on the extra point. A battle of high-scoring offenses today. <laughs> These coaches are drawing plans and counter plans, and they're both getting it done today. And the kickoff team comes out onto the field. Not a real deep kick. Should be returned. From the 22-yard line. They got plenty of time left, and all they need is a field goal, so they don't have to abandon their game plan here. The Colts come out in a nickel package. Come on, partner. Come on, partner. Looking downfield, looking for the deep pass down the right side. He's there for the catch. Brunel stops the clock there. And we'll see the kicker now on what could be the last play of the game. You got to love a game that comes down to the end. If they try the field goal, the defense has to go back for that block. But they can't run into the kicker. He surveys the field, looking deep to the right. Incomplete pass. This game reaches its conclusion with the final score, Indianapolis 45, Jacksonville 42. This is Al Michaels with John Madden saying goodbye for EA Sports. Stokely was outstanding tonight and wins the Horse Trailer Player of the Game Award.